Hi, my name is Dr. Raina Carter, and I work for the National Institutes of Health Office of Intramural Training and Education. I'm the Director of Student Services for the Undergraduate Scholarship Program, or UGSP for short. And today, I want to talk to you a bit about some general tips and information about applying to the UGSP. The UGSP was authorized by Congress in 1994 and initiated by the NIH in 1996. Its goal was to award competitive scholarships to students from disadvantaged backgrounds who were committed to careers in health-related research in the biomedical, behavioral, and social sciences. The UGSP offers scholarships up to $20,000 per academic year, and this covers tuition and reasonable educational expenses. In exchange for the scholarship, UGSP scholars have two obligations. One is a 10-week paid summer internship at the NIH main campus in Bethesda, Maryland. The second is one year of full-time employment in a research group at an NIH intramural campus. There are four main eligibility requirements for the UGSP. Citizenship, enrollment status, GPA, and exceptional financial need. So I'll walk you through each of these and address some of the FAQs we normally get. The first is citizenship. As I mentioned before, as a UGSP scholar, you'll be working as a full-time employee, which means you'll be a U.S. federal employee, and as such, you must be a U.S. citizen or a U.S. permanent resident. The second eligibility requirement is your enrollment status. So you must be enrolled as a full-time student at an accredited U.S. university. Or you must be accepted as a full-time transfer student at an accredited four-year university. So that could mean you're transferring from one four-year four -year university to another four-year university or you could be a community college student who's transferring into a four-year college. And I just would like to note that high school seniors are not eligible for the program. We only consider students who've had at least one semester of undergraduate experience. The third eligibility requirement is GPA. You must have a 3.3 GPA or higher on the 4.0 scale, or you must be in the top 5% of your class. For all of the requirements I mentioned, there's an eligibility wizard on our website, ugsp.nih.gov, that allows you to determine whether you're eligible. The final eligibility requirement is Exceptional Financial Need, or EFN. EFN is defined by the federal government, and it's based on low-income thresholds that are published every year. You can also find this at our website. Please note that just assessing your income based on this table will not allow you to determine your eligibility on your own. You must submit an EFN form to your financial aid office and based on your FAFSA or your financial aid application they will determine whether you qualify for EFN. So the EFN form is normally provided to students on our website in late fall. So the UGSP application season officially starts in January the application opens in January and ends in March. We typically interview students in the summer and we make our selections in late July. The application has several different elements. Your transcript, a resume template, a personal statement, and three letters of recommendation. And I'm just going to walk you through each of these. So your transcript should be a list of all of the courses that you've taken in undergrad, as well as your grades as well as the courses that you're currently enrolled in as you apply. The resume template is a chance for you to provide a variety of information. Basic information like your contact info, but also your extracurricular activities, your awards, and your accomplishments. This is really a chance for you to demonstrate your interest in a career in the biomedical research field. And you should be telling us how your interest is manifest both in and outside of the classroom. Some examples of, of things we're looking for are previous summer intern research, an honors thesis, participation in a science club, or volunteering at a local clinic or hospital. It could also mean advanced coursework in a, an area of science that you're really thrilled about. 
Your personal statement should include your background, your research interests and experience, and perhaps an influential person or event that's caused you to become interested in research itself. It should also mention your long-term career goals. One bit of advice I'd say is be as succinct as possible but still provides a rich wealth of information about your own unique journey and how your skills and experiences have led you um, and prepared you to this program. And we also want to know what are you passionate about and how do you think that the UGSP will help you accomplish the goals that you've set out for yourself. The last portion of the application are three letters of recommendation. We at the OITE are very aware of the importance of a mentor in your life, both as a student and beyond in your career. I would say try to identify some individuals at your university that you can actually share your goals with and receive feedback about your progress. I have a couple of do's and maybe just one don't. The don't is don't ever ask a family member for a recommendation. But do ask someone who's worked with you in a scientific setting or a course. So that could be a professor of your favorite science course. It could be an advisor. It could be a career counselor. Um, it could be a postdoctoral fellow in the lab that you're working in. You should also think about asking someone who's supervised you in a work environment. And more than anything, you should ask someone who's known you for at least a couple of months and can really talk about um, some of your personal traits, like your ability to collaborate with people, uh, your communication skills, and your leadership skills. Those are all things that should be mentioned. So you may be asking yourself, how competitive is the UGSP and where do our scholars go? We receive over 300 applications and accept between 15 to 20 applicants each year. And UGSP scholars have become really well accomplished biomedical researchers and health related professionals. To give you an idea of where our scholars are now, over 70% have received or are currently enrolled in programs for MDs, PhDs, MD PhDs, master's programs, and many other health related professions. Our UGSP alumni are practicing medicine, completing clinical fellowships, residency programs. Our scholars are also conducting research in academia, industry, and government, including the NIH. I encourage you to visit our website, ugsp.nih.gov. Feel free to email our program director, Dr. Daryl Murray, myself, or our colleague, Mr. Adrian Warren, if you have any questions about the program or the application process. And remember, applications open on January of 2015. Thank you.